I'll never get used to this intro thing. Hi guys. Today is Wednesday. Right, Elle? Wednesday. And we have, I have a meeting with Ella's BCBA at drop off time. So I think I'm gonna take you guys along in the meeting. I talked to Rachel about it. She's totally cool with it. Um, I wanna show you a little bit of what Ella does in ABA therapy daily. Some of the things they run through, like um, I forget what they're called. There's a scientific word for that and I'm gonna have Rachel explain it to you because I am not qualified to at all. So that's the plan for today. I'm gonna take you guys with me everywhere I go. Oh, there she blows. Always on the move, kid. What do you want? Use your words. What do you want? Strawberry pillow? Hey guys, we're on our way and I have to admit I'm kind of nervous about bringing you in and like bringing a camera and talking to Rachel because I talk to her all the time obviously but like to have like the pressure of a camera in her face she's so well educated I don't think she'll have a problem at all obviously because she knows her stuff but it's like is it weird for me to ask to, to like film Ella even though she's my kid is it weird uh, I don't know I'm tiptoeing on that line hi Rachel hi. <laughs> I just want you to explain a little bit more about what ABA is directly. Okay. Just because some people seem to not understand, so I wanted to get from like a professional opinion. What is ABA? Okay, so <laughs> ABA is using the concepts of learning, teaching, and motivation to teach small things to kiddos that produce socially significant outcomes. Okay. Here at Bass, we specialize in kids, particularly early intervention for children under the age of five. Right. So we take it into two components. We look at problem behavior and we do assessments to see why is this happening. Mm -hmm. That way we can make changes in the environment and respond in different ways to alter the problem behavior and to have it less likely to occur. And then of course, as we go and we reduce these problem behaviors, Typically, those problem behaviors are helping the kids get to something. A lot of times, we see a lot of kiddos who are nonverbal and can't express their wants and needs. So we show them that instead of using your tantrum mm -hmm. to go ahead and communicate, we're going to go ahead and we're going to teach you to use those words or some form of functional communication right. to meet those needs so that the tantrum doesn't serve it. And then they say, <laughs> hey, it's much easier mm -hmm. for me to just start to talk or for me to, you know, if maybe we have some sort of delays that are preventing vocal speech for me to use this yeah. adapted program, mm -hmm. you know, on an iPad using sign language to communicate my needs. I'm not as tired afterwards. Not everyone's as frustrated. And of course it's more socially valid across environments. Right. And how is this, how are we using this kind of technology with Ella? Like what is her direct plan? Okay. as far as like what we're doing to help her better herself. So with Ella, Ella has some communication delays which have gotten significantly better since um, she started here with us almost a year and a half ago. I know, I can't believe it. Um, her problem behaviors are definitely met with looking at access. So she often perceives before it's even told to her that things are going on that in the past have equaled I'm going to lose access to this and then right. she starts to exhibit problem behaviors as a means of being able to keep the things that she wants or mm -hmm. knows already hey mom, you know when this happens oh mom's definitely not giving me the tablet right or here in the center she might hear a video go off and she'll already start to kind of get worked up mm -hmm. and through the face of like I'm not gonna get to watch that uh, yeah so we work and we show her like let's ask for that video like let's actually find out hey mm -hmm. you know, are you allowed to watch that or if we can't find that out Ella's at the stage where a lot of it or a lot of her problem behavior is going to improve as she learns how to ask questions to find out information for herself. Right. To sort of relieve, like, we've broken it down almost into, like, an anxiety concept of, like, mm -hmm. she doesn't know when she's going to get it. Things seem uncertain to her, so mm -hmm. she starts to engage right. in problem behavior. And how has she, like, made changes probably in, like, the last six months, would you say, like... Well, we hit, around the holidays, we did hit that rough patch right. where we were seeing a lot of different behaviors sort of crop up. And mm -hmm. it started with climbing in home, and then we started climbing yeah. in the center. Um, and then we all kind of came to the agreement that 
physical, you know, blocking or physically prompting her through something was getting to be unmanageable now that, you know, she's, she's bigger five and she's growing. Yeah. And as just a lifelong outlook, you know, if we can avoid having to do a strategy that involves physical intervention. Right. We would like to. Um, that allows Ella to kind of make choices <laughs> and decide, you know, okay, look, yeah. here are my options. I can go with Mrs. Tamia to the classroom, yeah. and I can do my work, and I'll get my tokens, and then I get to jump in the bounce house, watch Talking Tom, right. whatever I'm picking to do right away, mm -hmm. or I can wait until it's time, but I'm not going to get to do anything else. Right, so she's learning more like, if she asks properly, she will be able to do what she sure. needs to do. if she does her work quickly, then mm -hmm. she'll have more free time. Right. She'll get a greater amount of something. You know, just like the life lessons we see going forward, you know, if you and I go to work, we're going to get paid. However, if we don't go to work, we're not sure. We might get in trouble, we might yeah. get fired, but we're certainly not gonna get paid. Right, exactly. Or we're gonna get paid less. Yeah. given the quality that we do. So she's starting to get to see, hey, mm -hmm. I have control and choice over my actions. You right. Know, the amount of time that I get to have for free time throughout the day yeah. depends on how long. Because certainly, she's not going to ha you know, not have all the world's fun yeah. um, <laughs> running around you know, in her classroom. Yes, she can entertain herself, we found, yeah. <laughs> you know, to her detriment. One of the things that you know has been one of Ella's biggest gains has been her play skills. Yeah, her imagination is, is insane. Her biggest benefit. I know. Is that if you're waiting her out, <laughs> she could occupy herself forever. Yeah, and keep herself busy for a little bit. So. Right. But of course, that's not as fun, and you have control over the things that you want. So, looking at yeah. ABA, we're saying we're making changes in the environment mm -hmm. to produce changes in her behavior. So, you know, we may do some modifications, like we're going to really limit, you know, the access that each new parents. We're going to be sure to say, okay, you know, I'm not going to have the cookies just sitting on the counter. Right. That way she can just go get them. Yeah. I'm going to change it so that she has a motivation to come to me and say, hey, I want those. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to say, all right, like, let's make sure cookies are really like our end all and be all and not give her cookies all the time so that she's motivated for them. And we're having, which is a reinforcer, which is how we increase, increase. The future, yeah, the okay. future behavior. Awesome. Yeah, we want to restrict those things that we found, you know, to be motivating for her mm -hmm. at times so that we can keep her motivation high so that we can work on a skill deficit. Right. Um, right now we use her chips. Yeah. Her, she loves her chips. Yep, she does. <laughs> um, so you know, we're all on the same page and we keep chips, you know, mm -hmm. super high because we've seen when we did a preference assessment. So we're not just picking things that's like, hey, she liked once upon a time. Right. We're going through her different, you know, presenting her with a variety of different options and then having her pick and constantly assessing, mm -hmm. you know, amongst we've isolated chips as kind of a class. <laughs> Yeah. different types of chips. Yeah, I saw the little pill box that you guys have had all different little pieces of different chips in each one to yeah. pick which one she likes the best that day, which is so yeah, hysterical. Yes, so we can follow with her because it would be pretty boring if my life was uh, I worked for Skittles all yeah. day long. Which and that was her original reinforcer yeah, and that kind of wore off after what, I think like six months it kind of lost its yeah, appeal. kind of over it, you know, but that's a great thing to see, you know, because sometimes with kiddos with autism we see that I only like pizza and I will only eat pizza and I only like talking Tom. So it's what great she's, to see that she'll diversify. Yeah, but she's doing that right now. I was going to tell you, we're having struggles at home as far as her eating again. Okay. About switching up foods. It, it seems to be like pizza or nothing. Like she will go without eating if it's pizza or chicken nuggets, like, you know, the basic kind of foods. Okay. Is that something we can also so obviously work in our plan? Yeah, we definitely can work and incorporate in a food selectivity program, you know. Mm -hmm. We're working on it a little bit with the carrot, but we can do it in a different manner, you mm -hmm. know, since carrots kind of something we never really eat. Yeah. You know, we're taking it step by step and just kind of building up, you know, and our bites are getting t bigger and bigger. We're <laughs> yeah. We're more of a little bunny rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but with foods that we know that she's eaten before mm -hmm. that we're starting to restrict on, yeah. then we can up the motivation for her eating those and we can awesome. run a program to kind of see. You can send those in, we can talk All right. sort of detail about what that'll look like for her, but that's okay. totally something we can do during lunch and snack times. Rachel, I really do appreciate you like giving me so much information. I warned everyone like on the video before I came, I was like, she knows her stuff, so I'm gonna let her just like 
tell you what it is. So I really do appreciate it and you telling me everything. And Absolutely, we appreciate I guess, you sharing Ella with us. Of course, and we'll go ahead and like peek in and see what she's doing yeah, right now. Awesome. Right so Tamia, what is Ella doing right now? Ella is in reinforcer time. Okay. She's watching Talking Tom, which is her favorite. Right? So. Oh, look at her. She really does love it. Mm -hmm. So what are we working on today as far as like what do you guys run through? I know introverbals and stuff like that. Yep, so right now Ella has safety compliance. Um, we're doing some math, which she's pretty good at. She has some new ones that she's learning. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do a whole puzzle, which she's been on for a couple days. She's been really good at I've that, never so. seen her do a puzzle, which I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, she can do a whole puzzle, like 20-piece puzzle. Really? Mm-hmm. This yeah. kid, I'm telling you, that's yeah. so funny. Yeah, she awesome. can definitely do that. So how long does this reinforcer time last? Because I'm not going to film the whole entire time. No, it's only five minutes, but okay. she gets two minutes for videos. So okay. we never let her watch full five minutes for videos. Okay. Um, so then once the two minutes is up, she can go and play somewhere else for the three minutes. Of awesome. Video. And that's her token board over there? Let mm -hmm. me come around this show. Yeah, she's got all different characters. And if she wants something really specific, <laughs> I can write on there whatever it is that she wants. And does she choose what she wants for yeah. her reinforcer before you guys are done? Is that how that works? Yep, and she has little options back here that she can put on oh, here. Look at that. Yep, so she gets to choose each time. She's, She's so happy. smiling. Like, I know she loves the camera. She's such a ham. I can't. Put your feet down so you can see. Down. Look. Show, me, she, she, no, she, <laughs> show me how you do your puzzle. If it's distracting, I won't stay in here because I don't want her to. Hey, can you put your Let's puzzle see. together for me? Yep. Ella, sit up. We're doing our puzzle. Look, first Dora puzzle, then we can do dinosaur puzzle. So let's do our Dora puzzle first. today, huh? I know, right? Goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, let me, I'll hold that one for you. All right, keep going. she usually move faster through this or is it because I'm here probably because you <laughs> she yeah when she had um 16 pieces out mm -hmm. um she finished the puzzle in like four minutes wow yeah so she's independently working because we're at reassessment time like every six months for duration Miss Mia actually did the baseline testing with some things she normally doesn't kind of work on the puzzle mm -hmm. was one of them but she's working for durations close to 10 minutes. Which is insane. Without, awesome. like, to me, having to say anything or keep her yeah. there. Um, Which the concentration it takes to put a puzzle together, I'm sh I'm honestly shocked that she's doing it. Right. That. So, like, with ABA, like, one of the things that we do is we take a big task, like a puzzle, mm -hmm. which isn't seemingly that large, you know, compared to maybe a lunch cleanup TA. Right. Um, and break it down into small steps and chunk it for mm -hmm. her. So she started with, I just had two pieces out Yeah. to now I have four. So she gets the concept and we have it small so that it doesn't overwhelm her and she can hit the reinforcement and she's contacting success. So she moved through that pretty quickly then, didn't she? Like as yep. far as puzzle? And then the next thing we'll be moving to will be cutting. Oh, and can we stay? Yeah, they're working on that occupational therapy. Great. And she also yeah. sent me, I'll give it to you, it's in the car. Um, it's like a little pencil grip with a monkey that. Okay, we use. <laughs> pull on Miss Tamia's hair. Where her grip is? No, 
don't know if you want to show it. It's, it's Lauren, right? To Lauren too. I'm wondering if that was her grip on. Is it was it red? Yeah. Okay, then it's in the writing box. There was one left oh. on the table yesterday. Oh. So I think it yeah. must have got. Oh. oh, say I want to make a flag. Okay, first we need to finish our puzzle before we make a flag. First puzzle, then flag. We can do that. Home. Yeah, that would be such a fun thing to do together. It's also a really good like birthday present idea. I didn't know that was something she like really enjoyed. Yeah, and it's something she can do as downtime, you know, individually. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're trying to occupy her for a longer period of time. Yeah. Or if you know you want to take an electronics. Yes. Sort of break. <laughs> and of course, it does help with the problem solving. I'm so proud of her. I think she enjoys the completion mm -hmm. aspect. Yeah, like I've done this, and now I can go and do something. I think she's working for an American flag right now or something. Yeah, we have a craft that was a flag that she wants to make. Aww. Oh, you want to make another craft? Okay. Okay. All right, we'll let you finish oh, your puzzle. Us. I'm trying to concentrate. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> Say concentrate. quietly. Concentrate. Please. Okay. 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 Sorry. A big thing that we're working on right now with her mm -hmm. is altering some of her sentence structure too. Have you heard some different forms of questioning come out of her? Yeah. Oh. What is the newest one that she has? When can we? No, we haven't heard of when can we. Okay. Not yet. So some of the time, if you notice, like, Ella will walk in here, or maybe it's like she'll come into her classroom and she'll sit down and she'll look at her teacher and she'll be like, teacher will say and she'll be like, talking now? Yay! Mm -hmm. And it's not even. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. Boom. Science. Isn't it incredible? It really is like insane how much science goes behind ABA. I'm so, I just, in case Rachel or anyone at Bass watches this, I am so incredibly grateful for you guys. Your knowledge, your kindness, your character, all of the staff, every single person in that building and on the Bass team is amazing. They're kind, they always help me with any question I have or any concerning behavior. There's always a plan and it's always put into action and it's always quick. And I'm so grateful that Rachel was able to explain to you guys what ABA is because I've had a lot of, not a lot, but a few like people who just don't understand or they think I'm trying to take Ella's identity away from her or they think I'm trying to change her and make her normal. I don't want Ella to be normal. I don't want Ella to be anyone but who she is. I just want her to be able to be happy and to be safe and to live her very best life. So, I really hope that was informative. I'm blown away that my kid can do puzzles. I'm about to go and buy every single puzzle. And Rachel also said she likes to do like bracelets and stuff with her fine motor skills. The kid plays me like a fiddle. She comes home and on that iPad, but I know she likes to do other things so we're gonna switch it up here at home too. Yeah, I gotta do better. I need to do better. We're just so tired by the end of the day, but that's not an excuse. I'm gonna be my best mom self. So I'm about to go buy all the puzzles, all the things, and you know, just work and do all the fun stuff that comes with being an adult. It's sad. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your messages. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for the likes. Even thank you for the dislikes. Thank you for everything. I really do appreciate it. And until my next video, why do I talk like that every time? I'll see you guys later. Okay, have the best day ever. The best day ever. Oh, it's Wednesday. Hump day!